rocky earth guy here. So today we're gonna to take a walk along the Frenharola promenade. So I am standing where Calais de la Suesta is. And this is the beach name, Frenharola. And I'm gonna go that way. And let's go and check it out. So just so you know, for bearings purposes, there's a cool bar just across the road called Tahiti Bar and there's a restaurant called Amansa Mediterranean restaurant so just behind me you might be able to see it is the Tahiti cocktail bar some revelers in there having a drink it's about 1.30 right now and uh, let's take a walk and see what we find so I'm going towards the one of the other hotels I stayed in previously, which is the IPV Hotel and Spa. I'm not going to quite go on to that side today um, because I've uh, shot that before. But I will show you what's around here and, you know, we can check out the sight and sound. All right, let's go. So uh, the beach part is just over there. We got this grassy knoll with this cool hand sculpture just here and uh, a bit of road works going on here and all slightly more pleasing on the eye here we go beautiful beach here and uh, it's midday so it's probably about um, probably about 26 degrees right now there's loads of shops and restaurants uh, maybe you can see them over there you've got Mezzanotte, Smashburger, Lotus. There's a bike rental place. Oh, that looks pretty cool. I should go and check that out on the way back. Find out how much the rental is. And um, I guess you can get uh, mobility scooters. Uh, you can get um, kind of kid scooters, adult scooters. You've got electric bikes as well, all for rent. So I'll have a look at that on the way back and then share some of the prices. So let's continue. You've got red and black there. I don't know what that is. Salon, loads of supermarkets. If you need some beach gear, you can get it all here. And there is the beach, beautiful day. So one thing I've noticed is uh, it's not as busy as it was compared to back in Back in August when I was here, it's uh, considerably less busy. But still, there's lots of people here. And that's where they do the barbecues, just up there. There's another restaurant just here. La Ponderosa Playa restaurant. They've also got like a sushi and grill place just over there on the right they're not too busy right now I guess um, a lot of people have had their lunch there's a cake snack place over there San Francisco cake and coffee for four euros or a cafe in Bailey's for four euros what a bargain and uh, if you're looking for English breakfast there are loads of places here that do them and they're all really reasonably priced as well so let's uh, continue it really is a lovely day i'll probably hit the beach a bit later oh there we go there's a sign up there it's 26 degrees right now and uh, just coming up to 1:30. Look at that view, yeah. There's something about being by the ocean, it's just amazing. It's so calm and relaxing, it really is. Okay, so we have uh, more restaurants and supermarkets started along the way. And loads of apartments. There's like just loads of apartments. Some old, some new. Some look like they were built in the uh, in the 60s. Let me show you those. 
Some of them look pretty modern, like that one up there. And today I'm staying in the Hotel Boutique X, which is one of my other videos, look out for that. And that hotel is really, really nice. Really enjoying the hotel. And we got a barbecue going on here. Check that out. All right, now I'll be grabbing some nice grill and fish. So my brother's coming down today, which is awesome. So we're gonna hang out and grab a bit of food later on today. This restaurant is called Gali Gali. Check it out, it's quite busy. It smells really nice. We've got more restaurants there, Crispy Cod, if you want your fish and chips, Mojito Beach Bar and Pasta Factory as well. And some cool artwork here. Check that out, I love it. Nice statue or artwork. It's just really nice. Um, this bit of the beach here is pretty cool. It's uh, not so wide on this bit, but um, you can get an idea of uh, how busy it is there. Okay, so just continue here. I don't think it's going to be a long video, so I'm just going to walk up to where the bridge is which uh, kind of separates this part from the other area where Hotel IPV Resort and Spa is, which is a great hotel, although there's not much there in terms of shops. And when I stayed there a few months ago, you have to kind of walk onto this side if you want to get some uh, groceries like the supermarket or some drinks. You know, the hotel does have stuff, but you, you've got to use their own bar. So, although it's quite cheap to stay there, I think I checked the price for tonight. It was 79 pounds sterling, and um, which is good value for money, which is about what I paid for the Hotel Boutique X when I'm staying tonight. However, if you're staying in the IPV hotel, uh, that's more of a chill out place, but the spa is really cool and you know, they do massages there and all that good stuff. So if you do go to the hotel IPV spa, just bear that in mind. If you've got a car, I guess it's a bit different because you can just drive around and uh, it should be all right. Okay, let's just spin the camera around. This is El Cielo Beach. As you can see, it's uh, pretty quiet right now loads more restaurants there's like just restaurants and bars just dotted all around here okay let's continue so when you're choosing the hotel sorry about the noise massive lorry just went past when you're choosing a hotel my preference would be to stay in this stretch of Ferenjarola because it's a bit more lively, it's a bit more buzzing. However, if you want a bit more, a bit more quiet side of Ferenjarola, then you can always check out the IPV Hotel. There's another restaurant here. They got the old barbecue. What's this called? Serrano Player Restaurant. I wonder if they've got a menu. Just have a quick look at it so you guys can get an idea of the prices. There we go. You guys can see that. Right, really nice day. I'm walking quite fast, so a bit sweaty here. But don't worry, so I'll take a break up there grab a beer or something and um, ooh, more restaurants souvenirs so I think you can't really go wrong with this part of Ferenrola and if you go a few blocks down no doubt there's going to be more restaurants bars cafes and it's good to mix it up a little sometimes I like hanging out on the beach the beach view 
sometimes to go down a few blocks because there's some really cracking restaurants. Uh, the other thing I've noticed is because you're on the seafront, because of the location, you may pay a bit more because you're paying for the view as well compared to if you got a restaurant a few blocks down. So just bear that in mind when you're here. Although that said, I gotta say, Spain is uh, good value for money when it comes to eating out compared to the UK or some of the other places that I've been to around Europe. Like Sweden's pretty pricey, but uh, there you go. All oh, right, yeah, I remember this place. This is uh, Coriander, a uh, Indian stroke Italian restaurant. That's an uh, interesting combo. Uh, it really is. I haven't been there. Although I remember this landmark because I'm coming up to the bridge bit, which divides kind of this part to the one where Hotel IPV Resort and Spa is. Uh, you've got Purple Moon there as well. So if you need a bit of a landmark, there's Purple Moon. So if you walk this way down for Enherola, you've got all the bars and restaurants. Uh, but if you go over the bridge that way, you've, uh, you haven't really got anything. But that is where they have the music concerts as well. So uh, look out for that. And I'm pretty sure it was on this year. Robbie Williams was playing Matavara restaurant. So this is Botavara player. The, uh, the hammocks are seven euros and it's open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. It's definitely more quiet on this side, I've got to say. And uh, that looks pretty cool. Look at this, I'm going to show you. There's like an apartment here with a swimming pool. Let's get the old selfie stick up. There we go. Lovely. Look at that. And I guess these are hire I don't know how you hire those apartments maybe you need to do it on Airbnb or something another restaurant here restaurant Antonio if you'd like an Italian restaurant and I'm just gonna walk up to the bridge I'll show you where that is but this is the Italian restaurant behind me looks pretty lively there and uh, you get people from all kinds of nationality. I've heard people speaking Swedish, we've got Norway, we've got German, French, we've got local Spanish people, of course here, who, who come on holiday. And um, you've got people from the UK, England, Scotland, Wales, really fixed and cosmopolitan. And the great thing about this is, maybe I'll do this walk at night time as well, like, I call the kids are out in the evening, they're having fun, uh, they're playing in the parks and you know, all the families are getting together. It's really nice to see here. I would say most of the time people are outdoors rather than indoors, which is a little different compared to the UK. But there you go. From the pleasures of being in Spain. And as I mentioned in one of the old other videos I did, I think a lot of the people here right now uh, actually live here. I might try striking up a conversation when I'm in the bar with some of the people just so I can um, get an idea of, you know, maybe why they chose this place to come and live, maybe they're expats and, uh, you know, how they made that lifestyle choice. Hiking. It's like a fun way to spend a Monday afternoon. Okay, and I'm coming up to the bridge bit here. So, you see these uh, everywhere in Spain, also in the Canary Islands. It's like a walkway bridge, and then underneath you've got this uh, area that is a, I imagine, some kind of overflow for the water. You can see it's actually. There's actually quite a lot of water in here. 
check that out. Like kids down there having a picnic. It's all right, isn't it? So I imagine this is some kind of water flow, although they've got um, some gold posts up there. They look like gold posts. I wonder what that's for. Maybe they do some sports here as well. Um, but if we have a look the other way, you can see the water hasn't quite made it out to the ocean. But that is the view from there. Okay, so um, that concludes this video. So that is a short walk. And what I'm going to do is go back that way. And uh, I'll see you in another video soon. Take care.